Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to automatically remove all the blank columns in your data set. For example, in this sample data set that I have over here, I have three columns which have blank values or null values. Ship mode, for example, I don't have any values over here. And then likewise, in state and postal code, I don't have any values at all. And I want to get rid of them from my table over here. Obviously, I can get into my Power Query editor over here and then click on the column that I don't need and I can select remove over here and remove the column. However, if you have a larger data set and you have to check each and every column to see if they have null values and then remove them, it's quite a tedious task. So I'm going to give you a code which will automatically remove all the null values from your table. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let me just get rid of this remove column step that I just added. So over here, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this particular FX button over here and I have a simple code with me. I'm gonna share that in the description of this video. You can use that code. And so basically what this code is doing is uh, the first step of the code is to list down all the columns that we have in our table. And on the second step over here, it goes through each of that column to check if they have non-null values in that particular column. If And then it returns a count against every column. And in the last section over here, we are filtering down to zero so when we, when we filter down to zero it returns only those columns which have null values in my case over here it's ship mode state and postal code for example if i change the operator here to not equal to it will list down all the columns that have values in them right so i'm gonna say is equals to zero and then these are the three columns which have null values in my table over here okay. in the code that i will be sharing in the description it, it will look something like this right for example the previous step uh, to what I have added over here, my step here is custom one. Let's put quickly rename this. Okay, remove null columns. And the previous step to this is change type. So when you come over here, you will have to change this to whatever the previous step that you have. For example, your previous step can be promoted headers. Okay, so you will just have to come here and type in promoted headers over here, select this particular value. And in both the sections over here. So, okay, once you do that, you will be able to get this code working. Okay, so now let's go back one step behind over here and to change type. And over here, I have the ship mode column remove. So, let's select this column, right click and click on remove. Okay, it can insert a step. So, now you see that a new step has been inserted. And now, if you look at the column over here, it, it has automatically renamed the change from change type to remove column. So this is very important. Power BI has automatically done this for us now. Okay. So now what we need to do is I'm going to copy this particular code over here. Okay. Go back to your removed columns, select removed column step that we added. Okay. So table dot remove columns. So it has automatically taken the change type over here and over here it is mentioning all the columns that needs to be removed. In, my, in our case, we only remove ship mode. So we have on one column mentioned over here. So this is where it is hard coded that this particular column name or column has to be removed from the table. And now I'm going to paste the uh, M code that we just copied from remove null columns over here. You can do that and then what you can do is you can replace these values with change type. Okay, come back over here and change this to change type. Okay, so once you have done that, you can press enter and then you can remove this last code that we added. And now if you see, we do not have those blank values. For example, we had state. Uh, and uh, uh, postal code as well. I don't have that those two columns in my data set. However, if I click on remove, you will see that they have been added here now. I have my state, I have postal code, all right. So this is how you can remove the blank values or the null columns from your data set automatically. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.